Hi guys, welcome to this channel. It's Max from the next creation. If it's your first time to come across this channel, please consider supporting this channel by subscribing to this channel. And also, don't forget to hit that notification bell. You remember, we are looking at the road to 3,000 subscribers. In today's video, we are going to talk about security guards and the social media. It is something that is coming a little bit very serious. This is the gulf. For example, people who are in Qatar here. Remember? Everyone is eyeing or everyone, all eyes are on the FIFA World Cup. There are very many people around to watch over whatever you are doing. You may be a security guard. I think most of, most of this goes to what you call the security guards. Wherever you are, I know you can't jump off of the social media. You might have a platform for yourself. You might have a Facebook account. You might have a, what you call a TikTok account. You might have an Instagram account. Or you might have that platform that definitely is on the other side of you, not on the side of the work. But what is being done wrongly with most of the security guards or some of the security guards here in Qatar is taking TikTok or social media. You post videos, you're doing lives on social media, and you are in what you call a company uniform. Remember, there is a clause in the company where there is a clause in the labor law whereby the company has a right to do whatever it is. Once you get to bleach what you call, you bleach the contract, you bleach the rules of the contract. Most of people are falling in what we call trouble. I think it is a scope of what it is. It is something, it is a raid that is being taken off right now for people in uniform and their own social media. To some companies, it's termination. That's what I have to let you know. To some companies, most of our friends are being terminated. People have gone back home. People have been fined. You are on your duty time. Yes, much of the time. Why? Sometimes it's always very important to use that opportunity that is given to you rightly. How to use it? How do you use that opportunity? By doing the right thing at the right place at the right time. Yes, no one is refusing you to use your social media account or do your social media work. But how do you do it? What time do you do that social media work? It's very important. And where are you doing that social media work? Remember, all eyes are on you. Very many people are watching over you. Very many people are watching right now. And what is going to portray or what are going are people going to say when you are putting on uniform? So I call on both security guards or people, if you're working in the security departments, you're working, uh, it may not be security guard, but even some of these companies, even some of these companies, if you are in uniform, you should infringe yourself. Posting, getting live on this social media, posting your photos, updating yourself, all the time on social media. What does it mean to that employer? Or what does it mean to that person who gave you the job? It means you are not doing the work. You are not interested in whatever. You are not interested in the job. That is why you are on social media during the working hours. What is the humble advice? My humble advice is that do the separate work away from what you call the uniform work. Attend to your social media work out when you are off your duty. Don't do that work during the course of the work because you never know who is at the back of you. You never know who is at the side of you. Who is watching whatever you do. Remember, something that I need to let you or something that you need to understand, for example, in Qatar. Security wards is on not only the security guards or the security partners that are there. We have CCTV cameras. CCTV cameras all over, uh, uh, all over some of these places they have cameras. You definitely know you are aware of these cameras. But again, know the code of conduct. Code of conduct when you are putting on this company uniform. It's not your uniform. You are representing that company. It represents the company. What about the person that is watching? What about the person that is seeing you? 
duty time and in uniform you are making video you're making tiktok videos you are you are live on facebook you're live on tiktok what does he mean to that person let's say for example this is a client that you don't know because you you also like other people they are also like other people they do their personal work away from the uniform but what is this person going to get out of you what is this person going to say about you he will definitely comment about you and say the security guard does not do his job or is not doing his work because of most of the time he's, he's on social media he's, he's, he's on live social media he's posting videos on social media or he's posting himself or he's doing uh, live videos on social media in uniform so there's no words that you're going to explain there's no other words that you're going to explain and some of these companies are going are not going to tolerate this in one way or the other remember most com, most of these companies have recruited extra people extra manpower so losing one person out of the, the manpower they have is not going to be a problem because they also need to protect their name they need to protect their good name in one way or the other so this is my humble advice yes most of us or all of you do work but do your work away from uniform you can do during your free time you can do during your time but not in uniform hope i've tried to share something for you thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for supporting this channel it's makes from the next creation see you again in another video